Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. We are watching this magnificent empty stagecoach or coach going onwards to Denton, I believe. Uh, so this is a part of the line that goes from actually Denton, Ventura to Fremont. So this will be connecting these three roads and the reason for me showing it's in all its glory is that we have decided to connect oh look at that it's full on the way back good at least somebody's using it now this is the part of the line that goes ventura to denton to fremont the reason for building is because i've constructed this magnificent bridge and i've actually been running camera a little bit on the afterburners just in the background to make sure that some cash is being made and some consumed. I mean, you really don't want me look uh, showing you the train uh, track upgrades for the whole, you know, first 10 episodes now, do you? So, yes, with this beautiful vista, I think it's time we find ourselves with a little bit more, well, rebuilding a station, shall we? Now, this station, there's nothing wrong with this station. The station is perfectly fine. However, to be able to work on my plans, I need a little bit more ambitious thing. So, would you kindly move, Sunshine? You have two out of four week, you know, you have two out of four passengers. Okay, move along, Sunny. So, we'll pause here. We will delete hundred thousand grand of worth of housing and i will delete this stop yes i'm perfectly aware of what i'm doing and i will put a bus station something along these lines it's nicely aligned maybe yeah perfect for a small town i like it now, we have to double check the line that we didn't mess it up. Ventura Fremont Road, it goes... Oh, it did pick up back. Okay, perfect. That was uh, one of the things I was hoping. So, now that we have Fremont, we can have Olathe. And I think this, re this road will be heavily trafficked upon, so I think what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna set everything in motion. I'm actually gonna repay a little bit of the loan. See, I've basically just taken down the loan from the initial 1 million to, or 10 million to say more acceptable five, where my trains have a chance to catch up and actually do something. Now, that being said, let's make a new line. And this new line is to tie these two cities. So, 9th Street and Olathe. And the color, I don't like the color. I color, I want it to be sunfire yellow. Thank you. I'm gonna call it Fre Ola Road. So, Fremont to Olathe via the road. Now, here is the Olathe Road depot. And given that fact that we don't have any more new horse-drawn carriages, I think I'm gonna say, what shall we say? Sexish? Sexish should do enough. Okay, you're going to the new Freyola Road. Beautiful. Shall we take a look? How it? See how it looks? Yeah, let's do our good ride along. I'm just curious, what does this camera look like? I'm staring right into the horse's mouth. Yeah, that's the spot, all right. And at least he has a top hat. I'll give him that much. So. There we go. You know what? I'm actually sucker for a good orbit cam so take it away buddy all 
Oh no, now look at that sight. Isn't that magnificent? Oh yeah. And now if we could get a choo-choo somewhere in the background or in the distance, that would be just magnificent. And again, maybe not. Oh, dude, you're creating a queue behind you. All right. First stop, Olothi. I know, I know there's still no any passengers, but that doesn't prevent us from enjoying the beautiful vista now, does it? Oh yeah, look at that. That's a keeper. And the turkeys are giving our us the necessary welcome. I'm hoping just that these two will space out eventually, so they won't be creating as much traffic. We'll see. Oh, and the train is coming. Come on, come on, you magnificent beastie. There we go. The regular horse and the iron horse in the background. Now that's the money shot. Hello, turkeys. All right. Now, that being said, I'm just curious to see how this magnificent piece of road bridge will endure when we cross it. All right. Ain't that something? And the train chugs along slowly in the background. Beautiful. Serene. Amazing. I love it. Okay, and as I'm running out of things to say... Ooh. Hello. Now. <laughs> yeah, we need to actually... So this will be connecting Fremont and Olathe, which is good. It will give us a road which is travel and ensure that we have some, you know, passenger traffic. Shall we inspect the state of our vehicles? Vehicle manager, as we see. Very bad, bad, bad. All of them are very bad situation. You don't say. Probably because we're not due on maintenance or something. I'm guessing that the price is going up as the more we chug it. So I would guess that this train is long overdue for an update oh actually no wait what's your situation your your condition is bad okay what about your condition mediocre so you're the old one but do we have any better i don't know captain oh that's captain clyde okay let's see yeah, we don't have any newer passenger cars, so... And it's 2 million to replace it per vehicle. I'm not just really gonna re flat out replace it. I mean, if I would replace something, I would replace probably this guy who's hauling ass for a whole lot less. Okay, how much are you carrying, Sunshine? What's your situation? You're bad. Okay. Maybe you should be worth upgrading let's see how much would it cost us to upgrade this guy so train to it says seven of these let's say we want to modify it and we want to replace you with a brand new shiny baldwin and uh, we said seven right seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're going to be bringing me more cash. So I'm on board with that. And I need two and 2.2 million. Oh, look at that. American stagecoach and passenger car with clear story. And the Dunora Castle. That's nice. So I'm going to actually crank up my loan so that my bank balance is healthy enough for this train modification. Come on. I told you I wanted to, yeah, all right. Thank you. There we go. Look at this guy now. You're br gonna bring me a metric crap ton of cash. 
and hopefully pay for yourself within a single run, shall you? Yeah, I never thought so. But you seem to be chugging a healthier amount of grain, so I'm hoping that the production will be up. But look at this beautiful Baldwin. I love it. It's amazing. I cannot wait to see how much cash it will net me. Chew, chew, you magnificent bastard. And at least it will save me on the maintenance costs, so I'm hoping that this will actually fix these things. Beautiful. I mean, I could watch it all day. Oh, maybe not all day, but certainly for some while. Now I'm really eager to see how much ch bling it will net me. Now I really do want to see the... Oh, so we're only not seeing the cost. Okay, income we see. Come on, how much cha-ching are you bringing me? Come on, please be over 150. 297, ladies and gentlemen, now that's what we are talking about. It will for sure up the production here and everything will be hunky-dory. So with this rate you will pay for yourself within, say, 10 runs. Okay, I'm down with that. How is the passenger situation here? Ground fork ship, Max Bembo. You are going... Pretty strong, actually. I'm thinking, should I probably get one more? How many people are waiting at the Charleston port? 13. Yeah, if I put one more, it wouldn't be profitable anymore. And Max Bembel is actually running quite a sufficient... Can this be... Can it be upgraded, perhaps? Modified or sold? No. Replace, perhaps? Dunara Castle, what's the capacity? 100, two compartments. Cargo types, all. And this Wilhelm. Seventy-five hundred and thirty, so it costs double per, and it's, but it's two types of, what's the speed? 25, 22, ah, it's the same. No, Max, you're be, you're gonna be fight, living to fight another day, just to say. Uh, also, we have connected Rancho Cucamonga to San Bernardino via this scenic road tunnel. And I'm thinking we should probably start connecting these up, because why not? So, San Bernardino, let's see, what do you have here? I'm just basically trying to connect these small villages to make sure that later on I have a much better developed and, you know, economy and everything. So, let's see, uh, land use, residential, so if I smack here in the middle, <coughs> that would be a perfect place, now wouldn't it? Except this will cost me an arm and a leg, I assume. Yeah, brush size. Strong. Flatten it out, honey. Oh yeah. Look at it. It's melting money like hotcake. Cha-ching! See? Amazing. Now, speaking of which, we could chug here a bus station. Or even biggest, bigger loss of cash. Yes, you know, guys, I can actually do that. I think the catchment will be fine, it will fit perfectly into this beautiful landscape, and it... I'm committed. Alright, so you will be connecting to Rancho Cucamonga. Do we have... yes, we have a train station there. So, perfect. Rinse, repeat. And this will be actually for the stagecoach. Ooh. Ooh. That will... so it will be... Rancho Cucamonga to to what? 
uh, Ranchaka Kamonga to... It will be ultimately to Dayton, but right now it will be San Bernardino. So, line manager to... San Bernardino. San... That's terrible naming, but I apologize for that. Vic vicariously, I apologize for that, sorry. But there's this depot, build vehicles, American Stagecoach. Hell yeah! I'm gonna buy like at least four of these. Why didn't you wanna buy four of these? Oh, autosave. Sorry. There we go. Four, and you will have a Rancho Cucamonga to San Bernardino. Thank you. Okay, and soon I will be repaying that vehicle. Now. Why? Have you? Road vehicle? San Bernardino? Rancho Cucamonga to San Bernardino. Why can't you... Is there not a path between you? Rancho Cucamonga to San Bernardino. What? Ah, click on stations to add. Well, doofus. Upper Rancho Cucamonga to... And, I mean, yeah. I should probably get my head examined. Now let's look at the stagecoach. Oh, I won't waited a long time to see this. Look at those brand new, right from the smithy or, well, coach maker, whatever it is that, that where they make coaches. Let's kick it on afterburners, and I think we want to ride it along all the way up. Who's up for it? I will also remove the income because it spoils the romantics of the viewing. There we go. So yeah, now... Aha! Oh, look at that, how many people are... I think those are commuters, actually. This is the end station and people are waiting to ride the train. Is the train coming? Not yet. And obviously nobody is wanting to still go up to San Bernardino, but you will. Trust me, you will. I'm pretty sure of it. So, let's take a look at this pioneer that will be climbing up the these beautiful mountains and going into the scenic town of San Bernardino. So, look at that alley. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it, isn't it amazing? There we go. Up, up and away. There we go. Following it up. And look at the countryside. I mean... I'm just curious. Look at this. Out of the beaten path. Railroad tracks have different speed limits. A layer show the maximum permitted speeds. Yes, I know that. Okay, hold on to your horses, this might be a lengthy one. I really am eager to see it through though. I mean, after all, if I'm not enjoying these vistas, then why the hell I am playing? Except turning off the stu these tips. Yeah. Over there, nope. Yes. Hell yes. 
So it's a very long road and I will be paying my loans as I continue to go up. I should probably name this coach line after somebody. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for your comments. By the way, you guys have uh, said that uh, in the, some of your comments that you really, really liked um, quite a lot of these, you know, ride-alongs. So I'm ha more than happy to oblige. And I mean, where are you? Oof, quite a long way ahead. Let's kick in the afterburners a little bit, shall we? Yeah, you're being held back, I guess. So the afterburners aren't really cutting it. It's this lady that's holding you back. Well, she might be a pretty lady. Hold on, who knows? Oh, she's a spider woman. Whoa. And the horse looks weird. Hmm. All right. Now. It's almost like a caravan. Ooh, this is, is bringing us a healthy amount of cash. I'm not even asking where, but apparently railroad. Go rail railroad. Right. I couldn't see it through for the life of me. Well, what can you do? No. So, how is our Fremont vehicle doing? Four out of four. Beautiful. Alright, and uh, I need to think we need to modernize our old cash cow, shouldn't we? Are you very bad situation or no, you're bad and the other one is I think mediocre. That's this guy, right? No, you're bad as well. Age 30 years and you are how old? Age 21 years. You're young. This guy's an old fart. But usually when you change, you should change both trains. Otherwise, you know, otherwise you're getting into a mess. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually thinking I will probably wrap it up for this episode as these guys are coming in to closure and they're going really painfully slow let's kick in the afterburners at, at least by a little so tell you what guys I actually will say thank you very much for this episode like if you like the episode hit subscribe I will be seeing you definitely more in the next one um, this is ground forks Signing off from somewhere very close to the beautiful pittoresque town of San Bernardino.